back home. choke cable reattached right down there obviously just couldn't show you that but you can see it's pretty tricky to get down there one handed so now onto the throttle cable so this bit comes down and connects there we go. right down there That's there so I'll do that now so that's the uh, throttle reattached and uh, adjusted as well by this nut here and up on the handlebars. But there's a little bit of free play in it which I think is about right and it snaps back closed so that's good. Anyway, next is the air filter. Okay, so that's the air box back on. That took quite a while and a lot of jigging around but we did go on. Uh, the cable here back on, the uh, clutch cable was back in and it's been now sitting in the way when I tried to fit it. And just to fit the tool tank now we have it just on the Okay this is her, she's warmed up, she's running. This is with the decibel silence are in. So uh, it won't be long now before uh, it's on the road. Um, this is stage one, as I've said previously. Uh, I want to get it on the road, ride it, and see how comfortable it is and what other things I need to improve rather than just pin it all through theory. Uh, it will be on the road hopefully in the next month. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep the rainfall handlebars or if I'm going to go for the slightly more short style. So again, if if they're really, really comfortable, then I'm going to stick with those. 
but just for getting along the road all I need really is a speedo, a headlight um, and then just get it MOT'd I've, I've got the indicators already so we'll go from there anyway uh, after that stage 2 the rear shot coming from a Bandit 1200 so I believe that's a Mark 1 that fits much better with those stage 3 a 750 engine should drop straight into the frame and then at that point I probably will put the frame in for powder coating if I powder coat the frame and then rebuild the bike 